So afternoon session, first speaker is Professor Sua from Japan. His title is Intermediate Tom Classes and the Residues of Chan Classes. Uh, I'm honored to be invited to this uh, conference for Professor Camacho. And as uh, Jean Paul Russell <laughs> mentioned yesterday, I became acquainted with the name of Camacho by the index theorem of Camacho said. And, but uh, today I'm not going to talk about uh, the about Camacho said indices. Maybe Philip Bracci will talk about it in the next talk. So what I'm going to talk about is uh, 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 the first part of my talk is about the residues of Chan classes, which I already talked about uh, at several conferences. And the second part will be a uh, joint work with Jean Paul about uh, uh, the intermediate tom, tom classes. So I start with explaining what are the residues of the Chan classes. Uh, recently, my talks are always on some some kind of residues, and this, today I am talking about residues of Chan classes, but. Uh, I usually people think about consider the only the top chunk class, but I also consider the other classes, the other chunk classes also, and uh, I consider the classes of vector bundles on singular varieties. So I take uh, some uh, complex manifold. of dimension L plus K, and inside I consider analytic sub-variety. Of dimension N. And uh, also I consider a vector bundle, complex vector bundle of rank are on the neighborhood of this variety in W. So here we have a variety P, and in the neighborhood of B we have a vector bundle of rank R. And I do not buy a uh, thing this will be the set of singular points in a uh, singular set of other variety. So today I only consider the n chunk class of E. I consider, I look up. the n chunk class of V, restricted to the V. But remember, remember the, the rank of E is R. And uh, so it's not, in general, the top chunk class. So if you know the obstruction theory, uh, the nth chunk class is the primary obstruction to constructing uh, R minus n plus 1 sections linearly independent everywhere. So that means once you have uh, uh, R minus n plus 1 sections, 
uh, this class vanishes. But I assume on, we only have uh, uh, these sections on, away from a certain set. So uh, the singular set, let S be a compact set. And uh, with the finite number of uh, connected components, say as numbers, and I assume that this set contains the singular set. I know there are some people who say this is not enough, but today I just assume S is just a compact set with a finite number of set components. So the, a component can be a component of a singular set like this, or it could be somewhere on the non-singular part. And I assume uh, let, let L be R minus N plus 1. And as I said, uh, N chain class is the primary of construction to constructing L sections. So suppose we have, suppose, so as Suppose we have L sections uh, linearly L sections of V uh, linearly independent on the complement of S. Then the, the chunk class uh, CN is in the cohomology. And, uh, but if you have uh, uh, this number of sections away from S, it vanishes if you send it to this cohomology. And here you have the relative cohomology. So there's always a lifting. But the, po the point is, uh, there are many here. The kernel of this mapping is not zero. So there are many ways to lift this. But there's only one natural, there's a natural lifting which I don't have time to describe in detail. So there is a natural lifting, which I did not buy. So there is a natural. Uh, this can be defined either topologically or by the term they theory. In any case, there is a natural lifting. Uh, which I call the localization of this class by this collection of sections. And there's the Alexander homomorphism. Alexander homomorphism. In general, if V is V has similarities, uh, this may not be, be a nice homomorphism. But in any case, there's a homomorphism uh, into the zeroth homology of S. And uh, this decomposes into the direct sum 
of homologies of uh, the components. And this uh, localization, which is in this group, produces a number for each lambda. So this produces a collection of numbers, which I call the residues for CN of S on E, excuse me, I better write this here. CN. So this localization produces uh, the residue for each lambda. <coughs> and moreover, if these contact uh, th there's a residue formula. which is a trivial formula. If D is compact, the sum of residues to the integral over V of the nth chunk class of V. E. And as I said, this is a trivial uh, formula. But each time you compute the residue, residues, uh, you have a uh, nice formula. So I'm going to give uh, how you how you can express these residues in the case of isolated similarities. So suppose we have a variety with isolated singularity at P, uh, and uh, we still think of this as, a, as embedded in a, a complex manifold of dimension n plus k. So we take a neighborhood of dimension n still n plus k. So here we have V. So this is a isolated singularity. I suppose we have a vector bundle. Uh, this time I assume that uh, this is homomorphic. Uh, this uh, general analysis is good for any uh, vector bundle. Uh, this can be just a simple vector bundle. And the sections can be just the uh, same thing, or even continuous. But from now on, I consider only homomorphic, homomorphic vector bundle of rank. Huh? On U tilde. In fact, we can assume that U tilde is a ball, contractible, so that it's trivial on U tilde. And suppose we have uh, sections, L sections, uh, sections on 
on util that. Again, I, I, I only consider the case L is R minus L plus one. And uh, assumption is uh, the singular set of S tilde intersection with V causes only of P. And where this is defined by the set of points, where the sections fail to be linearly deep independent. So in general, we have, uh, uh, this is in fact an analytic set. I, as, as I said, I assume these sections to be homomorphic. So we have an uh, analytic set. But we have so if you restrict these sections to V minus P, they are linearly independent. So we have the residue for this class of S E restricted to V at P, where S is the restriction of, of S tilde to V. And uh, I denote this number by rho. And I'm going to give uh, at least three expressions for this number. So the, the problem is how you can describe rho. Uh, the well-known case is the case where V is non-singular and L is one, the top chunk class. So first I give, so for this, uh, as I said, we can assume that is trivial on U tilde. So that we can take a frame And is, using this frame, you can write down each section as a linear combination of these sections. So you can consider the matrix of functions. Uh, this is uh, L by R matrix. We consider the minors of this matrix, namely the fitting ideal. So we consider the index set I L and for each element in this index set, I define phi of i to be the determinant of this matrix i1, f1, il, 
fl i1 fl il and uh, I, I'm going to give you three expressions, analytic expression, algebraic expression, and topological expression. And the analytic expression and the algebraic expression are given in terms of this. So first, I give analytic. And for this, I need to define the growth and decrease residue, but it's not the uh, usual growth and decrease residue, but it's a growth and decrease residue with respect to the sub variety V. So, growth and decrease with respect to. Uh, this is very simple. Uh, suppose we have uh, we are in that situation, and suppose we have n functions, n homomorphic on u tilde, such that the intersection of the zero set of f i's. with V consists only of P. And suppose we have uh, an N form omega N form holomorphic on V tilde. I define the residue at P of omega over F1, Fn, and this is relative to V to be the integral. Uh, here we need a normalization constant, which also appears in the usual growth and decrease residue times the integral over n cycle, which I define later, of omega over f1 times fn. And where gamma is the n cycle, given by the intersection of real hypersurfaces and V. So this will be an N cycle on V. Yeah. So usual Gothendieck residue is just uh, without V. I mean, you integrate on the whole space. Uh, for this, ambient space has n plus k dimension, so you need n plus k functions. But if, if V is a complete intersection, if V is a complete intersection defined by k functions h1 to hk. Uh, you can write down uh, this using the ordinary Grothendieck residue symbol. You just multiply omega by the h1 
DHK. And divide by, you just add FKs, FIs. K1, ah, sorry, H1. So this is the usual dot and equality. And this analytic expression for this number is given in terms of this uh, dot and equality. So we need a Lemma. See, uh, there are too many functions here. Uh, we only, you, you have to choose n functions from this. There are too many functions here. And this lemma says we can choose uh, we can choose n indices so that uh, the intersection of phi i i equal to zero from i goes from one to n intersected with v consists of p. And the third one, uh, rho is the residue. Uh, if I had the transparencies, I, I could uh, show you all the details of this, but uh, it's, uh, it may not be very exciting, maybe. So I just write in this form. Ah, it's residue relative to the variety. And where? I, I, here I just say omega f is an n form uh, determined by by f. And uh, in, in my paper, I have uh, all the details of this uh, expression. And uh, this is computable. So in, in particular, uh, if L is 1, uh, this means R is equal to N. Uh, in this case, uh, rho is. So you have only one section, S. Here, only one section. And if you write S as a linear combination of EIs, uh, this number is just the uh, familiar residue of this form. But uh, this is uh, the quaternion residue relative to V. So it's the simplest case. Uh, without V, this is well. This is a very familiar residue. which appears in many places, in many contexts. So this is uh, the analytic ex expression. And the al algebraic one is even simpler. But it's not easy to prove. So I consider the, the ring of germs of homework functions 
on etl.p, uh, which is isomorphic to the ring of convergent passes in n plus k variables. And inside of this, I consider the ideal. Uh, generated by the germs, germs of these func uh, the functions I wrote, these functions, and the ideal. Uh, I the P of P at P. In particular, if these are competitive intersection, of course, I V is generated by uh, these functions. Then the theorem is just uh, <coughs> uh, rho is just the dimension of O n plus k divided by this ideal. Um, this looks simple, but it's uh, to prove this, uh, we need a, um, a theory of <coughs> Cohen Macaulay rings. Uh, I, I forgot to say that if V admits a smoothing in U tilde, in particular. Since complete intersection always admits a smoothing, if it is a complete intersection. <coughs> uh, this uh, formula is nice, but the problem is here we have too many functions. And uh, if you really want to compute, uh, this would be more effective. And finally, I give a topological expression, which is even simpler. <coughs> so I consider the Stiefel Houghton manifold, uh, Stiefel. Stiefel manifold of L frames. This is an open setting CRL. And it, it's known that it's uh, to R minus L connected. And the first homotopy group, which is to R minus L plus one, is C. And there's a canonical generator. And in our case, this is exactly 2n minus 1. So uh, you can think of S 
away from the single point, uh, you, you can restrict S to the link of the singularity. Then there's a, a mapping into this Stiefel manifold. And the problem, uh, the theorem is rho is the degree of this mapping. Again, I need the assumption that these if the admits a smoothing. I think there's also a, a homological viewpoint. <laughs> Maybe Pepe will talk about this. And uh, I briefly give uh, some examples because I don't have. There are many examples, applications. So first, in fact, this algebraic formula is uh, inspired by this work of uh, Abelin. Gesenzade index of one form of Evelyn Gesenzade. Uh, here we take simply a complete data section. Defined by k functions. And suppose we have a homomorphic one form on E tilde. Then we, we can consider k plus one sections of the cotangent bundle of U tilde. So let S be uh, theta dh1 dhk. So it's a k plus one sections, k plus one sections of the cotangent bundle, which is of rank n plus k. So, Gusenzade, Eben Gusenzade defines, define the, I, I use different notation. I, uh, we define V index of theta to be the degree degree of this. This is definition. So by theorem three, this is the residue. The, the rest is on top of everything. And here you have topological thing, algebraic thing, and analytic thing, maybe homological, I don't know. So once you go to the top, you can go down to any places. So once you have this, uh, you have uh, analytic expression, algebraic expression. In fact, algebraic expression is already proved by uh, so once you go here, you can, you have uh, all the 
expressions. And I have many other examples, but I, since I don't have time, uh, I just uh, omit the other examples. Uh, it includes uh, uh, the multiplicity of functions defined by Isawa and myself. Also, uh, polar multiplicity of Gaffney. Also, local or well, abstraction, and so forth. And finally, maybe I should spend this more time on this, but uh, I talk about the uh, intermediate atom class. So all these uh, equalities are known for the case of one section. It's well known. But if you want to prove it, uh, for the top chan class, there's a, it co corresponds to the tom class. A tom class has more information than the ch top chan class. Tom class has all the local informations. And all these formulas, you can prove it by using tom class. So it's natural to ask, to, to try to find a class like tom class for the other chunk classes. And uh, in fact, it's very easy to do. As I said, this is a joint work with example. So just for simplicity, I consider vector bundle. Manifold. Uh, you can generalize it very easily. Of dimension again n. And I take any L and I consider the direct sum of L copies. And here we have the diagram. And here we take the pullback. And of course, this is defined by This is the element in the product such that so the point is there's a canonical L canonical sections which corresponds to the diagonal section in the case of L is equal to one. So S delta is defined by, it's a collection of L sections of rho star E, which is defined by EI. And the set of zeros, I mean, similar set, uh, is the set of points where they fail to be linearly independent. And EL minus sigma is the Stiefel fiber bundle of Stiefel manifold 
associated to E. <coughs> so this is a collection of L sections which are linearly independent away from C1. So here we have EL, and here we have sigma, which is of codimension uh, uh, it, the codimension of this is known to be uh, L. Um, anyway, it's there's a uh, this set is very well known, and uh, so we can we have a localization in H to P. Let let Q be uh, let Q be R minus L plus one. Uh, here we have the localization of uh, this bundle by this section. So we define the Q form class. To be just this localization. And if you use this, uh, you can directly prove this uh, topological, topological expression. And the algebraic expression is just uh, once you have a section, a collection of sections, it's, you can think of it as a section of this bundle. And the algebra expression is just the intersection number of sigma and this. And the analytic expression, uh, you can obtain by Dolbo, isomorphism of Dolbo, and uh, check cohomology of n forms. But I, sorry, I, ha I, have, I don't have time to explain in detail. So I should stop. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.